Hey guys, now we're going to look at the impact of ICT, the impact of information and communication technology in various parts of our lives or in various scenarios. We're going to look at the impact of ICT at home, the impact of ICT in the office space, and the impact of ICT in education. So let's start by looking at the impact of ICT at home. All right, first, the, what, what's coming in the future, I really hope sooner than later, is the smart home, okay? Think about being able to control your home with apps on your phone. Now, some of you probably do already. You can control the lighting, you can control the cameras. If you've got CCT cameras, you can control your fridge, your freezer, your microwave, your washing machine, your TV, all with apps on your phone. And so your, your home starts to become very, very smart and we have a particular name for that okay it's called the IOT all right the Internet of Things and that is something that's still yet to be a common reality for many people but it's coming it's coming we also have the home area network that you've learned about in CAT already where you can have your router set up you've got your laptop your printer you've got other people connected wirelessly so everyone's online at home that's changed how we live our lives at home what about oh, smart homes what about smart homes what about them I just spoke about them sorry Online entertainment, so we can access Netflix or YouTube and stuff straight off our TV. Our TVs are smart. We can connect our TV to the internet and watch movies and TV programs straight streaming online. I mean, that is something quite amazing. Now we look at the office. In the office, we've got very fancy boardrooms like this one over here. Although there's no one there, they're probably out of the coffee station because that's where I'd be. And then, of course, we have an, another example here in this picture just to show you what's coming up in my keywords. We have uh, Zoom meetings, Microsoft Teams, interactive screens. We have things like Google Meet, fax to email, and email to fax. We have VoIP. Remember VoIP, Voice Over Internet Protocol, telecommuting. All of these things are how technology has affected how we work. So we're able to communicate with people all over the world uh, simply by using software and hardware like uh, webcams, like the one I'm using now. We don't have to travel so much anymore. If we want to have web webinars or web conferencing, everything happens online. So we don't have to go and get on a plane and spend all this money just to get somewhere to meet other people and have meetings. We can now do that online. So ICT has had a tremendous impact on how we live and work in the office. Intranets and VPNs. Oh, I forgot about that one. Sorry. Intranets and VPNs. It also means that managing our data and our communications within our companies is so much more powerful and safer because we can have intranets and VPNs as well. And intranets and VPNs you will have learned about in networking anyway. So... Right, education. So in education, how has information and communication technology impacted us on education? Well, think about your own school right now, okay? All the things. Have you seen any interactive whiteboards? Okay, interactive whiteboards have changed. I mean, we used to have black or blackboards and they were actually green, although we called them blackboards, I don't know why. We have ebooks and tablets. You can have an entire library of books in an application on a tablet that weighs less than a book would, would weigh. Um, we're able to do online distance learning now. We're able to look at things like digital projectors and have those in our classrooms projecting information onto a big screen for everyone to see. That's a nice step up from the good old um, OHPs, the overhead projectors. And I think there are some schools still using them today. I'm not judging them. But, uh, yeah, I can't believe it. I mean, I had OV projectors in school. That was crazy. And, of course, virtual classrooms. Now, with uh, at the time of me making this video, we're still COVID-19 and distance education, online education is still pretty important and, and very big. And so virtual classrooms are taking place where a lot of the students are still at home and we have to then teach online. So even that has made a tremendous impact. So 
to summarize, when you think about the impact of information and communication technologies, all you have to do is look around in these three areas, home, office, and school, and have a look at the technology that we're using. Look at what we're doing with the technology and think about what was it like before that technology was available. What were we doing then and what are we doing now with the technology? And that should give you a really good idea of how technology changes our lives and how we can use it for good or for bad, but uh, hopefully more for good. Hey, this is an uh, episode of Blah Blah. <laughs> this is episode. What the hell? Uh, again.